Hi folks and welcome back to the AGS tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about custom animations. Um, let's just say that in your adventure game you have an instance where, I don't know, your character gets surprised and he sees something that shocks him and so you want to display that that shock on that character. Um, you would do that through a, through a custom animation. It's not a, it's not a standard anim animation that's provided via AGS in the character editor, but it's a it's a custom one. Uh, I'm going to open up the uh, C Sammy um, character here. If you remember, in the properties tree of a character, you have several views. You have blinking view, idle view, normal view, speech view, thinking view, but there's no you know, surprise you or anything like that. So how would you go in, in AGS, how would you go about creating a custom view and having that custom view um, animate your character uh, when when a certain event happens in your game or a certain time in your game? Well, that's what we're going to do in this video. What I've done is I've created a new view. Um, if you look up in the views here, I have one at the bottom, view number five, called V Sammy Shocked. This is him uh, being, sh you know, being surprised or shocked. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. It's it's really simple. It's just uh, one loop, and it's two frames of animation. Um, it shows him sort of with his arm, with his hand up, and with a weird expression on his face. And then the very next um, frame of animation is his eyes wide and his mouth is open. So if we play those two back to back, I'll show you what it looks like. So he's just kind of going bob 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 like that, and. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to use for uh, showing Sammy as surprised. Um, I told you I didn't have very um, very much artistic ability, and so you're seeing that displayed here. Um, but anyway, so this is what it's going to sh show like when he's surprised. So let's go to our cutscene room and go into the room script, which we've been editing, our after fade in function, and in order to make Sammy have this custom view, we have to change his, his typical view. Remember, when, he, when Sammy is just standing there or walking around, that's, that's um, using what's called his normal view. There's a normal view. Um, and we need to change that view if we want Sammy to, to, um, to animate in a different way than normal. Well, the way that we would do that is to say C Sammy dot lock view. Lock view will lock the, his view into a, an, another view so that no matter what happens uh, to the character, whether he's moving around or what have you, his view will, won't change from whatever we lock it into. Um, in this case, if I open up the parenthesis here, it, it wants an integer for a view number that we want. Well, in, in our case, that view is 5. We know that the view that we created for, for the Sammy Shocked is 5. But we can also specify that number by, by actually spelling the, the name of the view. So I can say the Sammy Shocked. And that's all uppercase um, for constants like that. V Sammy shocked. So I'm locking his view into this V Sammy shocked view. And that will just automatically change his view from normal to, to this uh, V Sammy shocked view. Now it's just simply a matter of causing um, Sammy to animate that view. So what we can do is we can say C Sammy dot animate. Now the animate function will animate the character within his current view. If we had done this without locking his view first, it would just animate him through his normal view. But now that we've locked it into the shocked view, it will animate through those two frames that I showed you earlier of, of, uh, of Sammy being shocked and surprised. The first thing the animate function wants is the loop. Well, there's only one loop in our vSammy shocked uh, view, and it's loop number zero. The delay is the, um, the amount of time that the game waits between frames of animation. Uh, the longer, the the bigger this number, the the slower the animation will be. Um, let's just say five for for um, delay. Again, this is in game loops, so forty uh, game forty uh, here would equal one second between frames, which would be really really slow. Uh, but I'll just say five. You can play with that number and get it way, the way you want it. Our repeat style. Um, do do we want this animation to happen once, or do we want it to repeat over and over again? Well, in this case, we want it to repeat. The next parameter is block or no block. We actually want to specify no block here because I want I want this function to exit immediately and, and continue on with the scripting immediately so that I can wait using a wait function uh, afterward so that I can tell exactly how long to wait to, to animate this for. And then it asks do we want to animate um, 
backwards or forwards through the loop. Now in this case it doesn't really matter because there's only two frames of animation within my um, my loop here, but um, you can imagine if you had a very long frame, uh, long animation, you might that might matter. You might you might want it to animate forward, or you might want it to animate backwards. Um, in this case, I'm just going to say forwards. Um, close the parentheses, close this, and and type the semicolon. Now I'm going to have I want that animation to happen for a second and a half. So that would be 60 game loops. So I'll wait 60, and now I want it to stop animating. Now there's no stop animate function, the way you stop animating is you unlock the view. We started this animation by locking the view and then we animate it. We waited a second and a half. Now we need to unlock the view and what that will do is that will just return the character's view back to his normal um, his normal view again. So we say csammy dot unlock view. So that's it. That's how you that's really how you would do it. It's pretty simple. Again I'm just going to quickly go over this. You lock the view into the view that contains your custom animation. In this case V Sammy shocked. Then you animate that custom animation. You tell it which loop you want to animate, um, how long you want the to delay between frames of the animation, whether you want the animation to repeat or just play through one time and stop, and then whether you want uh, block or no block to occur, and whether you want it to go forwards or backwards through the animation. Finally, you might want to, if you specified no block here, you might want to specify a wait parameter so that you can wait a certain amount of time uh, before stopping the animation. And then finally, you stop the animation by calling unlock view. So let's run through that and see how that works. Now, when I run through this, it's going to play. Um, it's going to. Oops! You know what? I didn't change the uh, the default room for the character. Uh, in the last video, I had set him up so that he started in the main hall. Um, I'm going to start him in room three this time because that's our cutscene room. Let's try that again. Okay, we hear the foghorn sound, we hear our music start, and then we're going to hear our music stop. And now we see, there, did you see it? He, he animated for a second and a half and then stopped. So that's how you would do um, the animation there. So uh, this is a relatively short video. I'm going to end it here because on the next video I want to talk about um, how we can do a little bit more with the custom animations, uh, including having the character move while animating or while, while there's a custom animation um, or, or a locked view going on. Um, if you remember in the little short cutscene that I showed you, um, there was a point where Sammy walked up to, um, to something and sort of bumped off of it. Um, when he bumped off of it, his arms flew up in the air. Um, he sort of fell back and landed on his butt. Um, so I want to show you how to do that in the next video. So um, I wanted to get this out of the way though to show you how this lock view um, and animate functions work because we're going to use that in the next video as well. So join me then guys.